Good morning. Let's try it again. This round two. Good morning. I pray everyone's had a great um, morning so far. If you're up, if you're early rise on Saturday mornings, I pray you have had a great start to your morning. Great jump start to your day. Today is Saturday, September the twenty fourth, and I'm Leon Bell Jr. I'm usually here with my wife. Uh, she didn't get much sleep last night, so I figured she probably had just fallen asleep. So I didn't want to wake her this morning. So I woke up one night time and she was just sitting up in the middle of the bed. What's wrong? I can't sleep. <laughs> so I let her rest this morning. Good morning, Miss Austin. Good morning. Um, today we're just going to recap the week pretty much. Um, just kind of talk about, recap the things we've talked about, we've discussed this week, and do a proud good morning, Miss Todd. Good morning. Good morning. We are still down in Arkansas. Holding it down. Yeah. Good morning, Nari. Nari, when you go to the thing this morning, are you going this morning? Your tickets will be waiting on you. you know, your name will be on the list, should I say. How am I coming through? Am I coming through pretty strong and steady? Good morning. It's been a good day here. Um, all is well. I keep saying I see, keep seeing weak signal, weak connection. So I just hope I'm coming through pretty good on your end. That's the dog. I got a thumbs up. Cool. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get started this morning. One of the, the things we talked we talked about quite a few things this week. Um, I think the most recent. Was um, we talked yesterday about loyalty to your spouse? That was a good topic. We really, really enjoyed that. Good morning, Miss What Miss Chestain. Um, loyalty to your spouse. We talked about um, being one and staying connected, praying for your spouse. Yes, you had to pray for you had to pray for each other. That's to me. Could say that the one that's one of the um, unselfish things you can do. Is pray for your spouse, and that's true. So even after we're even after we're done on this um, video, pray and being agreeing with you, it's important that you and your spouse make time to pray with each other and pray together. That's that's like really important. So you want to make sure you you make time to pray with each other. All right, cool. What's up? That's my uncle coming through. Huh? Never what's up. Never, what's up. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, so look, this is this is um we when we talk about praying for marriages and, and being mm -hmm. this month coming to a close, remember I wanna remind you, next week we're gonna be doing some uh well we we have a couple of people that sent in a couple of topics they want to pray, they want us to discuss and pray about. So if you if you have any topic that you want us to pray about or discuss, you can e email them to us, send them to us via our inbox on soundthebells.net. I mean, on our Facebook page, Sound the Bells. And we definitely will discuss, may have those discussions next week as we wrap up our week of our month of prayer uh, for praying for marriages. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me or you want to talk about in particular that we discussed earlier this week, now it's a great time to do that. Because like I said, on Saturday, on Saturdays, we just do recap and recap what we've discussed, what we've talked about. Um, and if there's anything we need to kind of go back and elaborate on some more, we do that as well. So if you have anything you want to kind of go back and revisit, be a great time to to type your, in, your, message, your message in the box below. Your comment in the comment box. Yeah, we'll answer those questions. We had a really good discussion this week. Oh, 
loyalty, praying for each other. Um, what else we talked about this week? Let's see, if I have my computer, I have all this stuff in front of me. But yeah, but we're on the road. On the road again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we just really pray that this has been a blessing to you these last 23 days that we've come together to pray and lift up marriage before you. We pray it's been a blessing to you. We pray that God continue to richly bless your marriage, continue to open doors in your lives as individuals, and even as a, a, a power couple. You know, set goals. Oh, we talk about setting goals. That's something else we talked about this week, setting goals. Um, and having a plan for yourself. So what kind of goals do you set for your marriage? Do you set any goals? Have you reach your goals? Ask yourself those questions. What are your goals if you set goals? Yesterday, the state of the union address, state of the marriage, on your anniversary, have you, you know, what, what have you, what have you done in the last year? How you intend to improve your marriage in the upcoming year? You know, those are all good questions that we've asked um, this week. Good morning, Miss Natural Fit, Lady Tucker. We're just doing a recap this morning of things we discussed this week. So we're just kind of having a recap. Yes, Tamika um, didn't rest too well last night, so she's sleeping now. I didn't want to wake her up, which she's probably up now. I got to play possum sometimes. She's probably listening to me right now, saying... I wish I could go and get up going now, but I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Miss Wilcox. Good morning. Recapping um, the week that we've had, and I've been, we, Tamika and I have really enjoyed um, this weekly morning um, prayer call and prayer video and prayer chat. We don't know what we're going to do at the next Friday. I mean, we just don't know what we're going to do at the next Friday. Because, you know, next Friday ends the month. But we have enjoyed so much getting up and having this discussion and talking with you all and praying with you all. And we just haven't decided what we're going to do come October the 1st. Um, how am I coming through? Because um, I keep getting said your connection is weak. So am I, am I breaking up? Is it coming through pretty steady? Oh, excuse me. Good morning, Miss Matthews. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. Keep sleeping. <laughs> Keep it going. We have thought about, you know, kind of off and on. Keeping it going and getting up and, and doing a couple of morning videos. Um, yes. Continue. <laughs> I would say you guys have you guys are great. You guys are awesome. Well, you ladies, excuse me. You ladies are awesome. And the guys who are watching who haven't come in it, thank you as well. I get a couple I get a couple of messages from your husbands that watch the videos. It's pretty cool. They don't come in, but they're inbox. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, just remember what we, what we talked about this week. I'm, I'm not going to be too long. So, you know. Thank you guys for being a great audience. I remember the things we talk, talked about this week. Um, good morning, Brother Perry. Good morning. He's a, one of our single gentlemen who have joined us this week. He's kind of a here they missed on the replay. But yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, Brother Perry. Uh, I want to remind you while I'm thinking about it, this morning, um, it's the prayer breakfast at St. Joseph Baptist Church. Um, and Tamika was scheduled to be the guest speaker this morning for the prayer breakfast. But due to some family emergencies, we had to come leave out of town. So she will not be speaking there this morning. But Miss um, Shamboard. Um, who's an awesome woman of God can declare the word and stand boldly on the word in her own right uh, will be uh, speaking today at the prayer breakfast so 
We want to encourage you, if you're available in the Mobile area, to attend the prayer breakfast at St. Joseph Baptist Church, 661 South Broad Street in Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> I told you she was going to come eventually. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you? Have the best husband ever. Um, he probably was trying to let me sleep because I did kind of have a long night last night. But did you go over topics? We were kind of just reviewing it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, don't forget friends because that's one of my favorite topics. Good morning. <laughs> even blurry. <laughs> Thank you, Nanny. Yes, Nanny, see, I'm still cute, even blurry. Because <laughs> we, we keep getting a low signal uh, oh. signal connections week this morning. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, we be, yeah. we just kind of been chit chatting. We haven't really, you know, how we do just chit chat on Saturdays. Oh, just kind of chit chatting about life. Um, good morning, um, Liberty. You need to put on a white shirt. I need a white. Are you trying to say I'm black? Well, because because we have a, such a dark background, the white shirt, the dark shirt, it doesn't have any color to reflect off of. Maybe you know, I I, I had problems with that when I grew up. You know, in my childhood, being the no the, no the white shirt just just reflects the light. You know, better. being the darkest family member. You know, I had issues with that, baby. Bringing up past issues. I'm talking <laughs> just, about the shirt. <laughs> I've been. I'm sorry. I've been delivered. <laughs> but yes, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's been it's been a great morning. Uh-huh. Um, you got anything you want to add? About to pray. No, I was just throwing up other topics out there for you. That's all. Just making sure you got all the topics. Well, what did you say? What did you say? Friends. Oh yes, F- being friends with your spouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure that you're your spouse, your mm-hmm. friends. Mm-hmm. friends. Oh, your friends in your relationship with your friends. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's make right. Make sure you have the right friends. Make sure you have the right friends around you. The right acquaintances. The right acquaintances. Mm-hmm. You don't want to have no um. No nachos around you. Yeah, remember nachos. Remember nachos. That's right. That's right. Good morning, Miss. <laughs> you don't have no nachos. No people who want who want mm-hmm. uh. Oh, hey, hey Bella. Bella. <laughs> hey Bella. We gotta meet Miss Bella. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, you don't want nachos around you. People who want. That's to, right. People who you know. Nachos. I mean, no people that want something that's not theirs, which yeah. is yours. Nachos. Yeah. Nacho man. <laughs> Friends. I was trying to find that clip from uh, my dear uh, Tyler Perry's play, and I cannot find the clip anywhere on YouTube. I have been trying to find that clip. I, I promise you, I have I been trying to find that clip. Mm-hmm. Good morning, to me, Good morning, Miss Austin. Austin. Yeah, you guys. I'm sorry, I was late. It, it was it was a long one. It was one of those uh, up up in the middle of the night prayer nights. Them, them good prayer nights. Yeah. 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 So yeah, make sure you have the right friends around you. Make sure you're, mm-hmm. you're in spouse of friends. Oh, she, <laughs> she is so smiling. cute. She is so cute. Yes. And then we talk about kids. We talked about um, you have the blended family. Was blended family this week or last week? It's a good recap though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the blended family. I think that might have been last week though. That was last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, might have been last week. Mm-hmm. But I, I do definitely remember friends and um, health. Then we talk about health this week. Yep, health, taking care of yourself, taking mm-hmm. care of your bodies. That's right. And we had a man talk this week too with oh, the yeah, men. Oh yeah, we have a man talk. Um, knowing their purpose and their role, and knowing that they God given assignment. You mm-hmm. know, that was a good discussion for our single men. So if any single men are watching or watching the replay, go back and watch the video. I think it's from Monday. Mm-hmm. It is from Monday when we had the man talk about God gave God had given. Adam mm-hmm. an assignment mm-hmm. before he gave him a wife. Mm-hmm. His assignment was to work and dress the garden. Mm-hmm. And then after he worked and dressed the garden, he named all the crucial animals that God created. Then he gave him a wife. So what are you what is your God given assignment? What is your God given purpose that your wife will come along to help mm-hmm. you with or assist you in or aid you in? Oh, that's good right there. Me. That's good right there. And then single ladies, I mean, you can go back to Ruth and Naomi for yours if you just want to talk about working and all of that. Um, Boaz met Ruth working. He called her working. She was working in the field. She was doing something. Um, she wasn't just sitting around idle. So every time I hear the name Boaz, um, what's you his? Think about Franklin Jensen. Jensen. Yeah, Franklin <laughs> Jensen has just given me a, a whole new <laughs> revelation on the on Ruth and Boaz story. <laughs> so if you wanna get a good laugh in about the Ruth and Boaz. You had to look up uh, uh, Franklin Jensen, uh, Ruth and Boaz, and yeah. just listen to him talk about Ruth and Boaz and how yeah. <laughs> women settle for other kind of people. Mm-hmm. Let's put it like that. <laughs> so that's, other kind of Boazes. Yeah. 
So that, that's that's uh, whenever I hear the name Boaz, it's just mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it just it's no, it's no longer Ruth and Boaz anymore. It's Vincent and Boaz. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so um, make sure you you're your spouse or you what look at your friends, people you have around you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And men, this is something for men when it comes to friends. If you're uncomfortable being around some of your wife's friends, it's okay to let her know that. Right. Like it may sound crazy. Yes. But if there are some friends who you may be uncomfortable around, it's okay to let your wife know. Mm-hmm. And it could be, it, I mean, it could be all innocence. Like, there was a friend that I was uncomfortable being around by mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. He should have been. He and I told been. her, like, I, I, don't, I don't like being around because we was, we was going to do something. Well, she can just come over here and, and, and hang out with us until we go to the event. I'm like, well, can you just pick her up later? Cause you know, and it wasn't. I didn't hear. I didn't feel nothing towards her, and I don't think she felt mm-hmm. things towards me. I just didn't feel comfortable around her. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. didn't feel comfortable around her. So, mm-hmm. gentlemen, if, if your wife, and same thing with, with women, if your husband has friends who you are uncomfortable around, let them know that you don't feel comfortable around the individual. And like I said, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that they like you or you like them or there's anything happening. But it's just you know the intuition. It's right. just something about them that I don't feel comfortable around them. So, mm-hmm. if we don't have to, I don't want to be hanging out with them while you go into the store. Or I don't be hanging out with them while you in the, you know. I think I'm extra, I think I'm extra in that area. <laughs> you know. He knows. I'll say something real, real quick. Like, um, no. I'm, so, I'm real extra in that area. When it comes to your, your, your friends that you have in your marriage, in your, in your relationship, mm-hmm. you know, if you're not comfortable around them, by yourself, or you just don't, tr- you don't trust them, mm-hmm. or you don't trust yourself. I mean, it's hey, it's okay. It's okay to say, babe. You know, look, I know this your friend. Y'all been down since third grade, but she can't just hang out around here when you ain't here. Because a lot, she can't of, just pop up around here when yeah. you're not home. You know, marriage is a marriage. Uh, marriage is a shifting. It something happens, things shift. So you have you may have friends that you don't know. Something is that that you can't see what they're dealing with, but your spouse may be able to see it, and so. Marriage is a shifting. Hey, Bella. And those things happen for a reason. <laughs> those things happen for a reason. So you may think you're going to hold on to somebody forever and ever and ever and ever. But God may be saying, loose them for just a season or loose them forever and ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but your spouse may be able to see what you can't see. Yeah. It's called teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah, it's called teamwork. All mm-hmm. right. May be able to see some things you can't see. So it'll be hard. It's hard. Um, even family, family members, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. family, um, that's go. That really goes for every area, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Every area. Mm-hmm. I mean, if there, you just don't feel comfortable. You just don't feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Prophet mm-hmm. Hunter. I've um, I've told him, um, you know, I, I, not about his friends, but just a person or someone you know, close or church or whatever it be. Maybe I've I've told him the same thing before. My brother so and so and for me it's more of a I just can you check that before I do <laughs> I don't want to step out of line so I'll just tell you about it so hey, hey prophetess hunter yes so yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um so we did, did we did that one and um what did we do yesterday Let's say it was about loyalty. We talked about that already. Oh, you talked about loyalty already? Oh, okay. Sorry, I was late. Loyalty. Sorry, huh. I was late. <laughs> See, he had you been on yesterday. That's our mother. That's my mom. In the other we room. We told them he was going to come on at <laughs> 7 today to give people a little time to sleep in on Saturday mornings. Up. So we did 7 o'clock today, up mom. Apparently, we should have done 6 because I was up at 6. Yeah, you could have you could have played at six, and then I would have came back at seven. Yes, <laughs> you got double this morning. You got double. Mm-hmm. Um, we're missing one that we uh, that we haven't covered, but yeah. So, so I want to go ahead and say it again. If you guys have any topics you want us to talk about next week, or areas we want us to pray about uh, next week, send them to us an email, or you can email them uh, mm-hmm. to us on Facebook. We'll definitely get those topics. Up next week is going to be listener's choice. Yeah. Yeah. We have had a couple of people who inbox us about things they want us to talk about. We're going to dibble and dabble in those discussions on next week as we wrap up our uh, 30 days of prayer for marriages. So, yeah, 
I think one of them that we, we discussed like the very first week, but we might retouch, might be finances again. Since it's the number one, statistics say it's the number one cause of divorce. Yeah. So we might retouch that one again. But yesterday, if you were on with us on yesterday, we prayed for a great release in our finances. Yeah, he prayed for babies too, but we all didn't receive that. We didn't receive They <laughs> They rebuked the babies, but they received that they money. They received the money. They received they, that increase in Jesus' that. name. Hallelujah! Should no come babies. on a Honda. Should come on a Honda. No babies. No. Yes. No. no fish dreams. No, no fish, fish dreams. dreams. Mm -mm. All right. Nobody's dreaming about fish. Nobody dreaming about fish. Mm -mm. We did have some fish yesterday, though. We, ooh, we had some good, we had some good fish. fish. We had some, steak I had fish. never heard of buffalo steak fish, but we had some buffalo fish yesterday. Mm -hmm. Buffalo steak. It fish. was the bomb. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Freezing. Oh, it's freezing. Okay. okay. Got it. Yeah, because it's a bad connection. We're going to go ahead and pray. We okay. may come back on later and try this again. Mm hmm. All right. Well, you could, I don't want you to have to hold it up. Whatever. I can, I'll just, you know, back back down and then you go ahead and pray. I'm fading into the blame. <laughs> I'm fading into the <laughs> Get you there, my tea. Okay, um, I got. I'm freezing up a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and pray out, and we're gonna try. We may try again later on today. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you for all those who have risen this morning to get on this video with us, and we just thank you for their marriages. We thank for those who are single that are being kept by you, Lord God. We pray right now, God, for just a great refreshing in marriages, great stirring up in marriages. That you would just light the fire within their marriage, God. That you would ignite the flame within their home and in their yes, marriage, Lord God. Yes, we just thank you for every married couple that is under the sound of our voice. And thank you for the great work that you're doing in and through them as individuals and as couples, Lord God. Yes, we pray right now, God, for just a great stirring up in their home. A great refreshing in their home. Yes, a great revitalization in their marriage, Lord yes, God. Lord. We just speak life into every marriage. We yes, declare Lord. that marriages shall live and they shall not die, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We decree and declare, God, that no weapon that is formed against their marriage shall prosper. And every time that rises against you, you shall condemn for they are your yes, righteousness, Lord. Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, for the great work that you're doing in every husband. That every husband is seeking after you. They have a great desire to please and serve you even the more. That they're chasing after you and your design and your plan for their life, Lord God. That they're understanding and discovering their purpose and your divine plan for their life. And as they discover their purpose and they chase after you, God, that their family becomes into full alignment with your divine will for their household and their home. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray right now, God, for a great awakening in the lives of husbands. A great awakening in their spirit, Lord God. That they just have a great awakening to seek and serve you even the more, Lord God. We just pray for a great awakening in their heart, in their mind, in every area of their lives, Lord God. That they seek and serve you with passion. That they seek and serve you with their whole heart as unto the Lord, Lord God. We thank you that they seek and serve you even the more. We pray that wives are, are loving and honoring their own husbands, that they're being a blessing to their husbands, that they're helping their husbands fulfill their godly assignment in the earth realm, Lord God. We thank you right now, God, that you're stirring them up. You're giving the husband and wives new eyes for each other, God. That they have a fresh set of eyes for each other, that they love one another like you love the church. We thank you right now, Lord God, that you're doing a great work in them and through them, that you're blessing their home. We decree and declare that there, that, that there is nothing missing, lacking, or broken in any area of their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you right now, Jesus, for the great work you're doing in and through them. We thank you, God, for just a, a great revitalization in their marriage and in their home. We speak life. We speak, God, that they, they, that they are loyal to the, each other, that they are committed to their marriage vows. They are committed to you, Lord God, and they are in it to win it. They end until the end. And we thank you, Lord God. We give you glory and praise for what you're doing in their lives and in their home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Um, I know we kind of having some technical difficulties here on this video, so we may try it again later on today. Mm -hmm. uh, we may try it again later on today. We pray you have a great day. Uh, have a good day. Get out and go be great today. <sighs> go be great. All right. This is Leah and Tamika Bell coming to you live from. Mm.
Have a great day. Remember each and every day to be empowered and impact lives. Let's change this world one person at a time. God bless you. We out.